so I'm redecorating Alice's room and I want to do it a quick before as you can see we have quite a lot of marks and stickers and stuff but I won't do a full tour I'll just do a quick overview but this is how it's looking it's quite you know plain we've got swatches on the wall um old stuff and I'll put the link down below if you actually want to see a proper tour of this room before I change it so yeah this is his room which will be changed completely hopefully so yeah hi everyone so Alice's room is done so I thought I'd show you the after I'll show you a quick overview of how it's looking and then I'll go into detail about everything. So obviously his whole room is pretty much changed round completely. Um, so as you go in, we've still got the brown doors, they still need to change. So his bin, I actually got a lot of the range of his bedding and set and stuff is from Next. And the bin is from Next, I think it was £6. I'll leave the links to the colours of the walls, the stripes and everything below, because I can't remember the names of them. But um, first, first of all you walk in, you've got his tress of drawers and his wardrobe. He's had them since he was before he was born so they've lasted really well they're from Ikea and again I'll leave the links below super cheap both of them are under £100 for both so so cheap and I love the fact the drawers are really deep so on his chest of drawers he pretty much just has his Lego um, this is like light and it's alarm as well and then this is just like a little man and then he's got his first reading books these are really really good my mother-in-law got these for christmas for him they're the osborne very first reading book and they are brilliant um and very basic but they're just perfect for him starting to read now so um yes he's got 15 of those and then he's got some more osborne books here he's got his leap pad explorer in its case he's got three boxes here which are all from hobbycraft and basically it's got all their craft stuff in it, basically I've just labelled everything they've got so much craft stuff but um, I've kind of narrowed it down to these three boxes and then we've got a, um, a bucket here full of their pens and pencils so when they want to draw they're up here they're out of the way but you know I know where they are in one place and then this is just um, last year we done an activity and we've still got them and you can still use them actually they're still usable um, so in his top drawer I haven't actually gone through these so um, they are the way they are. I've got a lot of these um, drawer dividers in both the kids' drawers actually. They're quite handy. They're from Ikea as well. So he's got his pants, socks, some more nicer socks over here, swimming stuff, pyjamas at the back and then vests over here. And then in this drawer we have t-shirts, t-shirts and then long sleeve shirts. Um, some They're all pretty mumbled. I mean a lot of these are new. He hasn't worn yet. They've got tags on and these are sort of the older ones. Um, yeah, so that's the way that's organised. And then in here we have shorts, shorts, um, and then jeans and trousers. So yes, lots of clothes. He has got quite a few clothes, but that's where everything is kept. And then his wardrobe again is from Ikea and a few teddies up, up there and also another box full of different um, activity bits like tiny puzzles and plasticine, that sort of things in there. And then right at the back actually, you probably can't see, but there is Play-Doh box at the back there. So yes, um, and then in here we have a box full of his school uniform, that's the way I keep it, it just keeps it out of the way and to be honest he doesn't really have much room for his uniform to be out so it's just handy for it to keep it in a box and it keeps it away from dust and everything. And then we have play clothes, so these are these used to be like nursery clothes um, but a lot of them obviously still fit him. We've got some jumpers that Violet will be going into when she starts preschool and then we've got um, play clothes, yeah, trousers and shorts. We've got a whole selection of dressing up costumes. Alistair loves dressing up. A few clothes for this winter that I've already bought. He's got his little life suit, but Violet probably would wear that this year. Um, jackets, jumpers, everything like that sort of here. And these are just sort of new clothing that he got last year that were too big, so they're just there for this year. Um, a gilet and a little blazer. And then down here we have basically organised his games, got rid of loads of them. And we have just a section of his games and puzzles that we've kept, um, that they still play with. And then in here we have a keepsake box and then we have, in here is all his keepsake um, drawings and stuff that I can't part with. <laughs> so yeah, that's his wardrobe. Grim helped me put some stripes on the wall. Um, and then the other side is basically the same colour. Um, 
Over here we have a box, which this box is actually from B&Q. This was years ago I got that. It's great because it's on wheels, so you can sort of wheel it out. In here we pretty much have lots of dressing up stuff. He's obsessed with dressing up. So that's that in there. And then we have over here, which they love sitting out. This is definitely a thing that I'm so pleased I got with two chairs as well. It's by Little Helper, really heavy duty wood. Great quality, the kids love sitting here and drawing, painting, whatever. Um, they can do it together or if Alice has a friend over. So that's that, it's in red. And then over here we have like the bigger toys, um, like his dinosaurs, um, a lot of uh, Toy Story toys actually down there. His little um, gardening kit, for catching bugs and stuff. He has his mini um, guitar, it's like a child's guitar. And then he currently has this light, which is still there. Um, it should have a bug over it, but we're actually think well, we're in the process of trying to find another light to fit there because he likes having a night light at night. Um, and then over here is windowsill. He has all his uh, money boxes. And then his curtains are actually from Argos. Um, I was going to go for uh, the matching set with Next, but I thought it might have been too much, too like matchy matchy, and. I just really like these curtains. When I ordered them, I wasn't too sure. But when I got them out of the packet, I love the fact that like a lot of people would think, why why didn't you get them lined? But Alistair is, is one of these people that he actually doesn't really care whether it's dark in his room or not. He actually likes the light. So, um, yeah, so I basically got those. They were so inexpensive. And I just love the colour blue. I think the blue goes really nicely in this room. Um, I think there's marine blue, I think it was called. I'll leave the link below. And then above he has some of these like lights and they kind of drape down and yeah, they were they're actually outdoor lights and I got them for B and Q recently. They were ten pounds for twenty of the lights. They're um UV lights or um you know they generate light through this power pack. You don't have to have batteries and then they come on at night, so um you don't have to worry about having them batteries in them and they just they're really bright as well. He really likes them. So onto his bed. His bed is from John Lewis. I'm not sure if they even have it in in online anymore. I haven't seen it on there and a lot of people have mentioned that it's not on there anymore. But I'll have a look and if it is then I'll link it below. It's basically just a lovely single wooden white bed. It was about £150 I think and then you paid about £60 for the mattress. It was so reasonable and it's really good quality. And it's one to just grow with them, you know. Um, the duvet set is from Next. Actually this um, checkered coloured um, set comes in a pack of two and and then I bought the extra set which comes with the striped extra pillowcase and the striped uh, bed like bedding like the fitted sheet but it's all reversible which is amazing so basically he's got four sets um, once you sort of turn it all over um, obviously his favourite toys are there and his rug is also from Next it's kind of in the range if you have a look online I'll link it all below but it's super cute um, and then over here we have just a box full of books that he likes to read at night and also like sticker books. He likes doing sticker books at night. So, um, yeah, so I just put a, a selection of stuff there. Um, that's just one of those head pillow things. He likes wearing one of those for some reason sometimes. Um, and then here we have his Duplo and then this Ikea box set. Again, I'll link up below, but we've had it a couple of years now and it's just a lifesaver. It's brilliant for organising toys. These two are actually... Actually, no, this one's got fishing set in. Um, but that one's empty. I'm not sure what we're going to put in that one. We've got animals in here, pretty much whole way of animals. We've got sort of uh, kind of action figures, a kind of bit bigger bits that couldn't fit anywhere else. And then here we have more Duplo. And then here we have planes, trains, anything with wheels basically goes in there. And I like the fact that I've sort of draped them around because at first I thought, oh god, they're so long, what am I going to do with them? But actually, it kind of it goes quite nicely, it lights up the room really nicely. This wall is blue. Um, and then we have his bookshelf, which is from Argos, and a selection of the books in there. I went through all their books. There were so many baby books that just don't need. His um, laundry basket, that's from uh, Wilkinson's. I think it was about seven pounds. So that's his laundry basket, and I need to do laundry, as you can see. And then um, I, Graham actually put up two shelves. These shelves are from Homebase. They were $9.99 each, and I love the fact that they could be classed as bookshelves, but you could also put pictures on them, like picture, like a proper picture frame. Um, so I've just put a selection of his books that he likes at the moment. And 
and we get back to the door and then we just have a coat hanger I can't remember where that's from it could well be from maybe Dunham Mill or the range I can't remember um, just a selection of his coats bags swimming stuff armbands his dressing gown and then we get back to the door again so that's pretty much his room such a transformation he absolutely loves it because it's not so babyish like it was before um, the layout is so much better as well it kind of feels like he's got so much more room than he had before his light shade is from b and I managed to get it so it matched kind of matches the um, curtains which was lucky that was about £4.50 really cheap um, so yeah just an overview of his room and yeah that's his room I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon